Court. Okay, we are good. Guys, if you don't know, my name is Guy Coach, right? Uh, my background is in being broke. I don't know if you guys can relate to that, but at the end of the day, I was a, a barber, you know, six-figure barber, love cutting hair, uh, and hated the fact that I wasn't able to spend time with my son like I really, really wanted to. I really just hated living, uh, you know, uh, week to week, y'all. I hated all of my money going towards bills. I hated not being able to do the things that I really wanted to do uh, when I wanted to do them. You know, y'all already know the story, right? Um, but for those of you that don't know, my son had wrote me a letter uh, basically telling me that he wanted to run away. He hated living in this prison, right, which is home, right? He hated living in the prison, uh, and I didn't pay him any attention. And then he put P.S. You probably don't know my favorite color. Um, and that's something that I hold near and dear to my heart, which is why I go so hard, you know, in the business. And then after last night's call, I actually seen that I wasn't going hard enough, right? You know, so I'm literally stepping my game up, actually getting out there, putting out this information simply because we have a team of individuals that need to know how to build, you know, properly, how to actually go out here and, you know, recruit properly because recruiting is not a bad thing, guys. This is something that everybody wants to get, uh, the, everybody wants to get recruited, you know, whether it's the NBA, the, the NFL, you know, people want to get recruited. As a barber, you want to get recruited to the best barber shop. Nail techs, you know, hairstylists, you want to get recruited. Why? Because you want to go there, right? You want to get recruited to this school, you know, this top Ivy League, this, you know, whatever the case may be, law firms, you want to get recruited. So why is it that people look at recruitment like it's a bad thing? It's not. You got to literally turn what it is that you have into a good thing. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen because I'm not going to keep you all all night, but I want to go through this information. Um, I have put together some slides for you guys to actually see and have a visual, um, but I want you all to definitely interact uh, with me as well. So I'm going to share my screen. Somebody let me know if you can see it on y'all end. Mm -mm -mm. Yes. Good. We good over here. All right. We Gucci. We Gucci. All right. Listen, y'all. Let's go to it, right? We're talking about recruiting now, you know, and with everything, right? With everything, every company, um, it doesn't matter what it is. It is always a system involved, right? You have to have a system involved, um, system, S-Y-S-T-E-M, save yourself stress, time, energy, and money. Uh, and that's the reason why you want to follow a system. And when you follow a system, uh, most individuals that are involved in network marketing and killing it, and it doesn't matter if they lose their whole team, they know they can kill it again because they they know what the system is. They know how to follow the system. And once you learn the system and you can duplicate it and duplicate it generations deep into your organization, you can have an organization that's explosive, guys. So, you know, just simply learning the system. Now, what are we doing? What's our main objective, right? To build a large growing team of, team of IBOs who acquire scholars that become IBOs who acquire scholars. Right. We're growing a large group of a group, a group of individuals that become IBOs who acquire scholars, which are customers. Right. That acquire. Uh, I mean, that become IBOs. Right. They go get their three and they become an IBO. And then by uh, doing what? Acquiring scholars. Right. Earn founder one in the first 48 hours. The reason why I say the first 48 hours is because it, it can be done. Ladies and gentlemen, we can make this happen in literally in 24 hours. Some people can make it happen like literally within that same hour. It's just the excitement dies down because you don't get them to do it. If a person just joins, they're already excited and you don't want their excitement to burn out. So you literally go ahead and tap into their network right away while they're excited, while they, you know, loving what it is that they're about to do. You just told them that they're going to be able to pay their bills. So you get them on the phone with people right then and there. Do not let the excitement burn out. And that's what a lot of people do. We let the excitement burn out. We hoping that they're going to do exactly what it is that we tell them to do. But sometimes y'all, people really need to keep that boss that they had before they got involved in network marketing. They still need a boss. We still need to be bossed around. So when you get involved, the first time a person gets involved, you still have to look at them as an employee. And you still want to treat your business like you are employed. Not like you're a business owner, not like you're a boss, but like you are employed. You have to get up, go to work, clock in, get it done, right? Clock out, go home, get up, do it again. That's how you got to treat your business. You got to get up, clock in. It's your business. You the boss, right, of YOU Incorporated. But at the end of the day, it's still like you're running your own business, but you have to treat it like it's a job. You got to treat it like it's a job in the beginning, but help that person earn founder one in the first 48 hours and founder 600 within a first week. If you create duplication in this, right, 
you know, all three legs, of course, your team is going to continue to what? Expand and blow up, right? And start earning the bonuses that's on that right-hand side of the compensation plan. And I know every single last one of y'all want to earn them bonuses, right? So listen, we sort, we don't sell. Y'all type that in the comments. We sort, we do not sell. We don't sell a thing. Understand that we are sorting, just like going to the uh, grocery store and you picking out apples. Women, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. When you go pick out them fruits, you making sure that you're looking for the good fruit, not the bad fruit. So when we go out here and we are prospecting, ladies and gentlemen, we are looking for good fruit. And, you know, the good people, the good fruit, the people that you want on your team, guess what? Business owners know what? Are the business owners, right? You know, uh, individuals that are self-employed, they know other individuals that are self-employed. You know, you're looking for people that got that uh, whip appeal. They got work ethic. They have a hunger, right? They have integrity. They got personal power. They know who they are already. This is going to help you grow your business. So you want to attract those type of individuals and not Uncle um, Uncle Leroy that's sleeping on the couch because you know he needs it. We can come back for Uncle Leroy because you already know he's not going to give you what it is that you want. And, and that's what burns a lot of people out. you signing up people that really ain't red apples you know you want red apples you want that shiny thing you want that thing that you want to put in the bag so we're going after red apples so we're sorting we don't sell so anytime that you talk to a person about the business keep in your mind keep the emotions out of it right and collect a decision figure out if that person is red green or rotten if they're red, they're very interested, get them in the business. If they're green, they got questions, what are you supposed to do? Get them on a three-way call, get the questions answered. If they're brown, they're not interested, just follow up with them later on. But do not get burnt out messing around with a brown apple trying to turn it green or trying to turn a brown apple red. It's brown. Leave it brown, right? All right, so the PS3 system, right? Peaking, sharing, three-way call, right? How to recruit, all right? Number one, we peak interest. How do you peak interest? I'm going to read a script to you guys. I'm going to show you guys how to peak interest because once you get in, it's no longer about you. It's about the next person, right? It's about you before you get in, but once you get involved, it's no longer about you. It's about the person that you're signing up. It's about the person that you are sponsoring into the business, no longer signing people up. We are sponsoring them, right? Invite them to a presentation, right? Somebody else presents the epic business to them, and then you get them on a three-way call to get closed out into the business. Now, right, you got to know your role, right? If you're a new franchise owner, if you're a new business owner, if you're a new scholar, if you're new to this, if you're brand new, your only two roles is to peak interest and invite them into a presentation. That's your role, and that's a good role to have because you don't even got to present, and you don't have to do three-way calls. But you're going to be on the presentations and you're going to be on three-way calls because you have a prospect. You're going to learn these things, right? The more you hear a thing over and over again, the better you get at it. So you never knew that favorite song that you know, like the back of your hand. You didn't know it like the back of your hand when you first heard it. You learned it from hearing it over and over again. So that's what's going to happen. So the person that's doing a lot of three-way calls, they're going to master the three-way call. The person that's on all of these presentations, they're going to start doing their own presentations. And ladies and gentlemen, when you start doing your own presentations, you now take taking taking control of your organization. You taking control of building, you know, your team. You taking control is no longer left up to somebody else. You literally took control of building your team. And the person that actually presents is the person that makes all of the money. I don't know if you guys actually figured that out yet. But the person that has the pencil in their hand, writing on the whiteboard, the person that's in front of the room, teaching the team, and the person that's literally presenting the information are the people that make the most money. So the goal is for you to become, become that person, right? So. All right. All right, so know your role. Like I said, new IBOs, just peak interest and invite, okay? Peak interest and invite. Master these things. There are, you know, um, YouTube videos that you can watch on how to peak interest. There are YouTube videos that you can watch on how to uh, invite to a presentation. But ladies and gentlemen, just master that. If you can master that, it's not just doing it, but it's perfecting the craft. Right. If you want to hit one hundred thousand dollars a month, six figures, you want to hit, you know, two hundred thousand. If you want to hit epic, go ahead and type epic in the comments real quick, y'all, for all of the people that want to hit, hit epic. Right. But at the end of the day, you want to master your craft. You want to master this. So peaking interest isn't just like peaking interest. 
this is what I know about actually peaking somebody's interest. You're going to get better at doing it. The next thing, right? The next thing. If you're an experienced IBO, if you're an experienced business partner, if you are somebody that's already ranked up, your job is to present and close. Your, pres your job is to present the information, right? And to close other IBOs, people for them. That is your job. You cannot remain the person that's just peaking and inviting to the call. Right. You always want to stay in phase one. Phase one gets it done. What is phase one? That's constantly be recruiting. Right. Constantly be inviting, constantly uh, uh, exposing the business to people. That's phase one. Never fall out of phase one. But, you know, as an experienced IBO, now you go to work for your team. Right now you work for your team. All right. And if you don't have none of these people available for you, look, just use the video. Right. Just use the presentation. Now, the different types of presentations that are out there, you got personal presentations. This happens in your home. Right. This can happen, you know, at, you know, a Starbucks. Right. You, this can happen anywhere. It's you, the laptop and your prospect. Tell them, hey, look, we need to meet up for coffee. I got something to tell you. Right. Sit down with them, pull your laptop out, play the video. Listen, if you do that with somebody, they're going to take you serious. Understand that. They know for a fact you didn't invite them. You did not just invite me to no Starbucks to, to share no crap with me, did you? Right? They know that for a fact. So if you go sit down with them, we can't really do that right now, y'all. We can't really do that right now. But you can invite them over to your house. It's all on you. Make sure they wear their mask. But at the end of the day, you sit down. It's you, that person, and the laptop. You, that person, and the laptop, right? pull out the video, let them watch the video. You're sitting right there with them, answering questions with them, and you still get to do a three-way call as well, right? Home presentations, of course, you guys ain't doing that. Um, you know, we used to do home presentations back in the day. You definitely can. These bad boys work, y'all. You invite, you know, your family over to the house, cook some food, whatever the case may be. Tell them, like, we need to sit down and we need to talk. We need to talk family business, right? Sit down with your family. Tell them we need to talk family business. This is real. This is serious. Right. You be that person that changed the family tree into a money tree. Right. And some people are going to do it. Not everybody is going to do this. Trust me. And I already know not everybody on this call is going to do this. But if you invite your people over to your house, you got like 10, 20 people in your crib. Right. Watching the presentation on the TV screen. And then after the presentation or before the presentation, let them know why you're doing it. Tell them your why. Tell them how much you do care about all of them sitting in the living room. Tell them what it is that you're about to do and how this business is going to help y'all do it. Right. Then play the video. And after the video, put your upline on speakerphone and let them close the room out. Right. All right. And the last thing, group presentations. Excuse me. Let me go back. Group presentations. Those are Zoom presentations. We do those every single day. Right. We do those every single day. And everybody should show up to every Zoom presentation that, you know, your leader is putting on. Just show up to the presentation, even if you don't have nobody on there. But here's my thing. The reason why you want to show it to the presentation is, first of all, so you can master it, right? So first of all, so you can master it. Water secondly, secondly, hold on. All right. So you want to master the presentation. Secondly, you got to understand that you want to be around, okay? You got to be around the environment. You got to get yourself around the environment. Mr. Mark Sterling talked about it last night. He's like, you know, the things that change your belief level is your words, right? Your images, your emotions, and your environment. He says, make sure that you're showing up to every event. You hearing this from the top, y'all. And this person has made millions of dollars in this industry. And he literally telling you exactly what it is to do to get yourself to millions of dollars in the industry. So it is like you want to follow the person that got the money or you want to follow the broke person that don't. So if he's, if he's saying show up to every event, you got to show up to every event. Like, it, it's your family's life that's, that's dependent on it, right? It's the change that you want in your life that's dependent on it. But show up to these Zoom presentations and make sure that you bring somebody with you every single time. And I'm going to show you guys how to make sure that you master that, all right? Now, if you're new and if you have a new business partner, guys, we got to get back to launching people. We got to get back to launching people correctly, right? Anytime you start a new business, if I opened up a new barbershop, what's the first thing? that I want to do. I want to have a grand opening, right? If you opened up anything, the first thing that you want to do is have a grand opening. Why? Because you're letting people know that I'm in business, right? And some people don't even know that you're in business yet. And all of the people that you need to tell is not on Facebook, y'all. All of the people that you need to tell is not on Instagram. Like you got to let people know that you in business. I'm about to show you how to be able to do that. Now, schedule your launch call, 
Now, this launch call can be every single opportunity call that your team has. If your team got an opportunity call tomorrow at 7 o'clock, that's your launch call. Invite your people to your grand opening. We call it a virtual grand opening. Invite them to the virtual grand opening so they can see what it is that you're doing for your why. And I'm going to go over that, y'all. So pick a presentation date uh, date and time that works best for you and a presenter. If you want to do a small, intimate setting, right, with somebody that's new, somebody that has a network, you know, it's you, that person, and then all of their guests, right? And trust me, your uh, upline will want to do that presentation for you. If this is somebody that you know has a network, like let them know, like, look, if you can invite 20 people to a Zoom all on your own, I'll do that Zoom. I'll probably get Dominique on there. I'll get Guy on there. I'll get, you know, Albert on there. Like, if they can invite 20 people to a Zoom, y'all, make sure that they do that Zoom. It's not like a company-wide Zoom. It's that person, their guest, you, another upline leader on there as well and just present the business to those individuals make it intimate make it intimate right all right uh make tell that person straight up this is how you launch a person though this is how you launch a person a lot of people don't know what a launch is it's just not getting your people on a call so they can see the business for the first time write this down a launch is when you get a new person in the business you sit down with them, you walk them through the biz, the back office, you make sure that they write down their first 50 to 100 names, right? You're getting their affirmation written down, what position they want to get to, make sure that they write their affirmation down, right? You're plugging them into all of the uh, chats as well. That is what a launch is. A launch is you, a new person, you schedule a time to launch them properly. So when you're sitting down with me, right, I'm new, you know, you got Albert sitting down with me. He's like, all right, guys, you know, welcome to the team. You know, what's a good time, man, you can reconvene so I can launch you properly. I'm like, well, I'm available tonight at nine. I'll be like, all right, look, at nine o'clock, you know, I'm going to call you back. We're going to get on Zoom. I'm going to walk you through everything. Nine o'clock comes up, you know, Albert gets me, it's me and Albert on the Zoom. He's walking me through the back office. I'm getting even more excited, right? I'm fired up because Albert didn't leave me alone. He's still there with me, right? So he's walking me through the back office. He's showing me different things. Now I'm feeling like I can do this. Do y'all see what would happen if you actually walked a new person straight through everything yourself? It's better than just signing them up and leaving them. It's better than signing them up and hoping that they do this on their own. This is what a launch is. You sit down with your person and you go over this stuff with them. That is a launch. Now Albert is like, all right, guys, so let's let's take a couple phone calls. Like, who do you want to call first? You know, you got your list right there in front of you. We just literally, you know, went through the list. And what Albert would tell me is like, look, I'm about to give you 60 seconds. I need you to write down as many names as you could possibly write down. I want you to shoot for 50. Don't think about it. Just write down the names. All right, go. And give that person 60 seconds to write down as many names as they possibly can. See, what you guys got to understand is that new person doesn't know no better. That new person, all they know is what you're going to teach them and what you already, all they know is you. They're new. So they hoping that you can literally walk them to success. That's why they banking on you. Right? So Albert is like, he's 60 seconds, God, go ahead and go. Boom, I'm writing down names as fast as I can. As many names as I can. I'm emptying my phone out. I'm going on Facebook. Woo, woo, woo. 60 seconds is up. He's like, God, how many names you got written down? Well, I got 30 names. Okay, great. All right, the top five, I want you to call one of them right now and get them on the phone with me, right? Can you do that? All right, what am I supposed to say to them? Let's talk about it. All right, but that is what a launch is, guys, all right? Anybody got any questions on that? Hold it to the end. <laughs> all right, peaking interest questions, all right? This is how you peak interest. Like, people that you uh, know that's on the same level as you, you're like, hey, look, is you looking for a career outside of what you're currently doing, right? Are you open to making some extra cash flow, right? If there's anybody that you look up to, are you open to diversifying your income, right? Can I get your opinion about something? Like, especially people that you look up to. Those are the people that you want on your team anyway. So get them on a call by saying, can I get your opinion about something? 
hey, look, I really look up to you, right? I've been following your success for a long time. I really need your opinion on something. I'm about to do something crazy, right? I'm about to do something for my family, but I trust your judgment. You know, I really need your opinion on something. Can you actually do me a favor and hop on this call at seven o'clock? I need you. I need your opinion, right? Whole time, you just want them to take a look at it. All right. If they say yes, it's a red apple. If they say they got if they got questions, it's a green apple. If they say no, it's a brown apple. Remember, we sort and we not we not selling. Okay. Now this is the script. This is a script. Now when I when we give y'all scripts, y'all, it's just to get your uh, juices flowing, right? Because you are creative beings. You gonna come up with your own creative creative way to talk to a person anyway. Truth be told, I just want y'all to tell the truth. You know, Devon was on the call last night. He was like, man, just tell the truth. And truth be told, that's all you got to do. But some people don't believe in the business enough to tell the truth. Just tell the truth. Just tell them exactly what, what's up. If you know what's going to help them, tell them. If you know what's going to help you, tell them. But look, I just took a look at something that looks incredible. You, you already know my situation. I'm trying to get back home to my son. He was about to commit suicide last year. So I need to be at home with my son. Look, this may or may not be for you. However, I'm working with one of the most accessible individuals that, uh, you know, and they can explain everything. All right. I can only invite three people to this. They told me I can only invite three people. So I'm trying to position three people. All right. We getting together at seven o'clock tonight. Here's the link. Will you be able to be free on my fellow your son? Can somebody unmute themselves and read this real quick? I want to hear somebody else read. I just took a look at something that looks incredible. Include your why. No. It may or no, may include, not be for you. Include your why, Albert. Include your why. See, the thing that okay. we're missing, y'all, the thing that we're missing is the reason why we joined. We just <laughs> going at people like we know what's up. We got to literally start telling people why we got involved. It's going to, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, if you leave your why in there, if you put your why in there, we call it favor, help, try, include your why. I need you to do me a huge favor, help me out, try to make it to this call, and it include your why. Tell them why you need them to make it to this call. Look, I'm trying to do something for my son. I need to get home to my son. And this is something that I put together for my seat. So I need you to make it to this call. And I knew I could depend on you. Can you make it to this call for me? You understand what I'm saying? You want to include your why. Don't leave your why out at all because people are joining for their whys. They're going to figure out why they want to join once they see the information. But go ahead, Albert. Include your why, Albert. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, hey, I just took a look at something that looks incredible. Right now, I'm not trying to go back to work. Yeah, I make $24 an hour, but, you know, it's taking away time from my family. I'm tired of coming home with my feet hurting. I'm tired of coming home with my back hurting. I'm Come tired on. of missing my son's football games. Come so, on. you know, uh, that's that's why I joined, you know, because this program is going to help me make more money than I'm actually making on my job. So I'm about to fire my boss and become my own boss. That mm. makes sense? Absolutely. I hear you. It may, it may or may not be for you. However, I'm working under the wing of this successful individual that can explain everything. And I can only put three people in position to work with them. We're getting together at 7 p.m. and I'm gonna send you the link. Will you be free or am I filling your spot? Come on, son. Come on, man. Now, this is my thing. It sounds like Alba was reading. Alba, you did an amazing job. Now, the next time you do it, like when you master this, you're gonna be able to do this like it's you're going to go through this, this script like it's water. And that's what y'all want to do. You don't want to go through the script like you're reading it. You want to sound like you. Hey, look, I took a look at something that's incredible, right? You know, the reason why, and then you tell your why. Does that make sense? I have a good job, bro. Anybody sure. else want to try it? I want to do it. I want to do it. <laughs> Come on with it. Who is that, Selena? <laughs> that's me. That's me. What's that, Selena? Put the Come script on, back up, dang it. <laughs> Where's the script at? It's on the screen. <laughs> no, it's not. You got recruiting invite to a strategy session. Uh-huh. Oh, it's down there. Okay, I see it. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, let me tell you something. I just took a look at something that looks incredible. I mean, it has literally changed my life. I was able to go to the next level. I was able to do things for my parents that I always wanted to do for my kids, for my family. 
I'm able to buy me that new house I wanted, that new car, and it may or may not be for you. However, I'm telling you right now, working under the wing of this successful individual, and I'm telling you, that individual, I can't even explain everything. All I can say is I'm only putting three people in position to work with them. So I'm trying to give it to you. So we're working together at 7 p.m. I send you the link. So will you be free or am I just filling your spot? Say that last part again, sis. You killed the first Will you be part. free or am I filling your spot? <laughs> no, nah, don't fill my spot. My whole goal is I don't want my spot. If you taking it away from in the in the first the first part of the script, you taking it away. The goal is to take it away. The goal is to not need the person. You free or am I filling your spot? Now, what is it? What is it about though, Selena? Well, you know, I just need you to show up. I can't talk right now. I got to call my other three. So, um, I'm gonna have to get back with you. I need to know now. I'm I'm putting you on my list or what? Uh, all right, give me uh, send me the link. Send me the link. Okay, I'm gonna send you the link now. I, I gotta go. I, I look forward to you know introducing to this person. So, um, I talk to you in a second. All right, Roger that. My 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 whole thing uh is this, y'all. Like you can invite a person to actually speak to your upline, right? Just let your upline know you got somebody that you know that you're gonna be calling them, right? And then call the person straight up and tell them like, look. I just took a look at look, something that looked incredible. It's helping me get back home to my son. You know my situation. My son told me that he wanted to run away. You know, um, I got to get home, man. Like, I'm tired of actually living paycheck to paycheck. I love doing what I'm doing, but I love my son a whole lot more. So, you know, I had to do what it is that I'm doing. Now, this may or may not be for you. I don't know if you in a situation like that, right? But I'm working with somebody that's successful. They're very, very powerful. They make a lot of money. They told me I can help three people. I called you first. You know, I called you first out of everybody. So, you know, it's either you want to get in or you don't. But all I need you to do is show up at 7 o'clock, take a look at what it is. So you want the link or am I going to fill your seat with somebody else? You ain't filling my seat. You understand what I'm saying? Like, that's what it's about, y'all. Like, now, these the thing about it is you got an opportunity call at 7 o'clock, right? Or, you know, like Devin was saying the other day, like, get them straight on the phone with the upline. Get them straight on the phone with the upline. See, what you guys got to understand is you literally are sharing, right? Peak share three-way call. Peak share three-way call. And sometimes the share can be somebody's story. So if you want them to hear Dominique's story, then get them on the phone with Dominique. If you want them to hear my story, then get them on the phone with me. If you know somebody that's successful in this business and they got a story, put them on the phone with them so they can share their story and how it's working for them. And they're going to be honest because, first of all, they're making money. Second of all, it's helping them get out of whatever the situation that they was in, right? Mm -hmm. And they're going to be able to speak with passion. They're going to be able to speak with some confidence. And you're killing a three-way call at the same time. But if you can't get a hold of an upline, just invite them to the opportunity call. This And this is how you invite them to the opportunity call, all right? So, like I said, at the end of the day, they're going to say yes, they got questions, right, or no. Now, if they got questions, just say, I was, look, I was just introduced to this myself, so I'd rather not try to explain it. Some people be trying to explain it. Look, I don't know how to explain it. I can't explain it, bro. I hit you up because this person can explain it. And, and it's okay to say that, y'all. Say that to the person. You know, talk to them like you talk to them. I don't know. I can't explain it. But all I know is I needed it, and I believe you need it. You just got said. You got to hop on this call. They going to be able to explain it. One thing I do know is it involves your bank, right? And it'll pay all your bills. You really got to see it the same way that I've seen it. So based on our relationship, would you do me a favor and check it out? Or am I going to call uh, call the next person on my list? You was the first person I thought of. Does that make sense, y'all? Yes. Yeah. Yep. So don't try to add, don't get into no question and answering sessions with nobody, y'all. Look, I don't know. I was I was just introduced to this myself. If you're new, you don't have to explain nothing. If you new into this business, you don't have to explain the business. You can't. So there's no way you can explain it. Be new. That's the best place to be. You got natural excitement and you don't know nothing. That's the best place to be. As soon as you start, and I'm, and please write this down, y'all. The longer you're in business, 
the more you start learning stuff about this business, about the company, about trading, about network marketing, the, the longer you're going to start staying on the phone. Because you're going to want to start saying a whole lot of stuff that you learned. I'm telling you, the, the more you learn, the more you're going to want to talk. So it's good to be new. It's very good to be new. Look, I don't know nothing about it. Look, I'd rather not try to tell you. I can't even explain a million dollar business in five minutes. That's crazy. Would you? But I know one wow. thing. It involves, it involves your bank. I mean, your bank should have told you about it already. They ain't tell you about Look. I don't know if, if your bank told you about it, but it will pay all of your bills. You need to see it the same way I saw it. Based on our relationship, would you do me a favor and just show up? Right? All right, so remember, um, as new scholars, you should only be peeking and inviting, right? Do not get into a question and answer session or try to explain anything, okay? Let the presentation or the experience IBO go to work for you. Right? Enthusiasm and urgency gives you great results. You cannot get on the phone. What's Selena at? Let me see. So Selena and I do this real good. Selena, where you at? Selena. All right. I'm going to do it myself. So who was that that said Selena? Cartavia. This fish right here, man. Hey, what's going on, fish? All right. So check this out. I'm about to call you up. Ring, ring, ring. Yep. Hey man, man I'm, I'm 10 seconds into it. Check this out. Ring, ring, ring. Answer the phone. How you doing, sir? Hey, what's going on, Doc? Hey, man. Um, this guy, man. You uh you uh you good? I'm great. Um uh, I can assist you. Yeah. Um, all right, so look, I got this thing, I got this thing that I'm doing. Um, they got this. All right, so look. So 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 I'm calling you right now because I got this thing that I'm doing tonight. They got uh they got this call. They got this call at seven o'clock. Um, okay. you know I'm, I'm I'm inviting a bunch of people to it. So you know what I'm saying. Uh, can you make it? To, can you make it? Can you make it to this call? Well, most definitely, I can. <laughs> he said most definitely. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I must sound good. <laughs> nah, it's real, for real, for real. Are you? I'll just refer by a real great person, you know. So I it ain't no bullshit behind that one. Watch the you language, know? man. But I feel you. Like so check this like out. It. This is my thing. Yeah, some people do have that type of you know um credibility. Some people do, but some people don't. Some people right. don't have that type of credibility. And, and, you know, I was one of them type of people like, you know, thank God, you know, my reputation in the industry is okay. You know what I'm saying? But my reputation outside of it wasn't. So it was, it was tough for me. It was tough. I literally had to build a whole new network of individuals. So, you know, and the reason why I had that phone call just now, y'all, is because some people get on the phone with people and they sound like they lost before they even pick the phone up. They sound like they lost before they even talk. Like you literally go into the conversation thinking that the person is going to tell you no, instead of being excited and fired up about what you're about to do. Like you want to get on the phone and sound like you about to invite somebody to go to the club with you. <laughs> I could I, I could I oh, ask you something? Let me ask you a question. Yes, sir. Um. So what? What's like? What is these phone calls about? Like, um. So if, if I'm picking up a phone call, what? It's the business on the other end. I, what what would be would be elaborating about? What would be the topic, the subject, or like what's the whole ordeal, the whole concept of this right here? Of what you're looking at right now, yeah. this is basically teaching the pro. Are you you are involved in Epic, right? Uh yes. Well, I, I'm I'm so new to this, bro. I'm probably like two three minutes into this. My big bro just uh, had a lot of pressure on me uh, with this, so I'm kind of. Uh, it's okay. Bro, it's okay. So. In. So basically, you know, uh, this call is simply for individuals that want to share this with other people, right? Just mm -hmm. like your your people shared it with you, right? Mm -hmm. So this call is just to show people how different ways to share it with somebody else, right? That's what this call right here is all about, you know? Mm -hmm. So when you go share it with somebody, you know, the company will pay you uh, residual income. 
So, you know, when you start sharing it, you want you just want to have a ball doing it, man. Like, if, if you found something good, would you tell somebody about it? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Absolutely. <laughs> that's, the, that's the whole goal for this call. You know, the goal is to understand how to do it because there's a skill set behind it. You know, there's a skill set behind it. I mean, you can go into it, you know, excited naturally, right? You can go into it urgent naturally, you know, and it still works. A lot of people ask me all the time, like, well, what am I supposed to do next? Do exactly what the person yeah. just did to you to get you involved. And so do the same exact thing that happened to you. Right? They got you on a call, they shared the information with you, whatever the case may be. But there are different ways of going about doing it. And that's the reason for this call, just to give you a couple of other ways to go about doing it whenever you are uh uh, uh you know, approaching somebody that ain't going to listen to the normal way. Like that's not going to listen to the way that, you know, you normally deliver information. You know, you might meet somebody at McDonald's, they in the drive through and that McDonald's mm -hmm. employee, they, you know, I'm, I'm asking them straight up. Like, Hey, let me ask you a question. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> hey, how long you been working here? Well, I've been working here for about, you know, three months. You like it? That's, I always raise my voice when I ask a person that because, <laughs> and I give yeah. them that ugly face. Like you like it? Right. Yeah, so I can't like, uh, yeah, uh -huh. right. And that person to say, that person to say, I mean, hey, it pays the bills. Hey, look, man, look, I'm connected with some very, very, you know, what I'm saying, powerful and wealthy people. You know, um, I want to give you an opportunity. I want to give you an opportunity. You ain't allergic to making some extra money, are you? And he's like, well, well, what is it? Hey, look, man, look, I'm just a talent scout. I just, I just scout out talent. You look like you, you know, what I'm saying, you can, you want to make some extra money. That's all I want to know. If you want to make some extra money, I introduce you to him. Mm -hmm. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, it's all about being like 100% brutally mm -hmm. honest and not telling mm -hmm. the person everything, y'all. Y'all tell us, You, you just want to tune here. in. You just want to throw that water out there, man. Bring that horse to the water and hopefully, you know, he can drink on his own. There um, you baby. Go. Okay. Point blank, point blank, per. That's it. All right. So let me okay. get back to the presentation, y'all. So look, red apples, that's what we're looking for. We sort, we do not sell. Right, we sort, we do not sell. Give a person the opportunity. They got questions, hey, get their questions answered. Tell them you don't know how to answer them, but the call will. I don't know how to answer, them, but the person will, right? And then, you know, get them to the, uh, get them on a three-way call so that they can get closed out. Confirm all invited guests prior to the presentation. This is a big one. You want to confirm that the pe the person that told you yes three hours ago is ready for the call three hours later when it's mm. time for the call. All right. So sorting questions based on presentations. Uh, do you see yourself becoming a member? They say yes. Get them started. Provide them with training tools. Right. Get them launched and get them to a training. Right. All right. If they got questions, get them on a three way call. Get them on a three way call. Get them on a call with somebody that's your upline, somebody that can answer the questions for you. You don't want to answer the questions, right? If you start showing your people that you do everything, they're going to think that they have to do everything. And it's about duplication. <laughs> it's about duplicating yourself. If I see that you had to share with me all of this stuff, I'm going to be like, nah, I'm good. But if I see all you did was invite me to something, and then you got me on a three-way call with somebody else. I can do that. Yes, I can do that all day. All I did was, all you did was invite me and got me on a three-way. I can do that. Right? So if they got questions, get them on a three-way call. Then what? Provide them with training tools and get them to the training. Right? And if they are brown apple, just follow up with them. Follow up with them later on. Like, look, is it okay if I follow up with you three months from now so I could, um, you know, tell you, talk to you more about my success? <laughs> right now after the presentation how to answer most questions that's a great question hold on a second i'm going to show you how simple this is you know anytime you know you just get a person off the presentation you're going to ask them straight up like what was the best thing that you liked about what you heard tonight you know like if they got questions like hey look that's a great question hold on real quick i'm about to show you how simple this is click over call your three i mean call your upline on three-way that's a good question. Hold on, I'm about to show you how simple this is. Click over, <laughs> call your upline, put them on a three-way call with your upline. Now, don't say, can I put you on a three-way? That's a no-no. Don't ask them no questions. You do exactly what you have to do 
but understand they don't know what needs to be done. So say, hold on. That's a good question. I'm going to show you how simple this is. Click over, call your upline on three-way, click back over, merge the call, right? But make sure that you edify the upline, y'all. <clears throat> make sure that you edify your upline. Even if it's a sideline, even if, if it's a, uh, you know, a founder 1000, even if it's a founder one, that's just real confident in the business. Even if it's a founder 1000, you always want to edify your upline. You want to make them feel like they talking to Oprah Winfrey. You want to make them feel like they talking to Michael Jordan. You want to make them feel like they talking to Steve mm. Harvey. You got to, you got to edify your upline. That's going to be half of the work, not even half, more than half. If you putting me on the phone, right, with anybody, make sure that you edify me so I don't have to get on the phone and make myself seem like somebody, right? right. You already told them, okay? All right, team etiquette, y'all, real quick. Arrive early on all calls, please arrive early on all calls. Make sure that you're, uh, you're there before your guests so you can welcome them to the call. Hey, 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 so-and-so, glad you made it, whatever the case may be. Make sure all calls start on time. I always start five minutes after a call, right? Make sure your calls start on time so they can finish on time. Only positive comments in the chat. Make sure the chat goes crazy. I don't understand why people don't comment in the chat. That makes no sense to me. You just sitting there listening. Why not comment in the chat and, and hype the chat up, yeah? Let the people that's guests come into the chat like, man, these people fired up. Mm -hmm. Like, I know for a fact all of these people that's going crazy in this chat, these, this can't be a scam if all of these people is, 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 is making money. If all of these people are talking about it and talking and positive and friendly introduce your guest to the speaker right or introduce your guest to somebody else in the chat right don't interrupt the presenter or ask non-related questions and show up fired up and excited y'all all right yes sir so that's it y'all that's all i got for y'all man that's all i got for y'all can i say something real quick yes ma'am also, don't come with complaints on the opportunity call. <laughs> Absolutely not. I haven't dealt with that. I haven't um, had any of that happen to me, but definitely don't come with complaints. Definitely don't come with complaints, y'all. It's all about being upbeat and positive. If y'all haven't yes, realized it yet, everybody that is winning is always fired up. Have y'all seen that? I don't think nobody even paid no mind. But the people that win, the people that are really, really winning, they always positive. They not positive because the money is there. They're just positive people. They just know that they gonna win. It just is what it is. And I'm not lying. It's the truth. They just got good vibes, y'all. Just become that type of individual. Attract the person that you want to recruit by becoming the person that you want to recruit. Yeah, it's like manifestation right there. That's what it is. So um, anybody got any questions? Hopefully that uh, information was solid, you know, and it helped a lot of individuals out, y'all, because, you know, it's literally about creating duplication, uh, you know, just getting a person in front of the information, getting them on a three-way call, closing them out, boom, next call is tomorrow. Or you can, you know, share the video, let them watch the video, follow up with them, what you like most about what you heard. And you always ask a person what you like most about what you heard is because it starts them off in the positive. They literally going to start off thinking about something good instead of negative. Do not ever ask a person, so what you think? They automatically going to go negative. So always ask a person what you like most about what you heard. All right. <clears throat> cool, 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 cool. Thank y'all for tuning in. That is the end of the Yes, sir. We appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. No problem. No problem. Thank you very much. Thank you. No problem, brother. No problem. I did record this. Hopefully, it definitely record. Did record. record. Yeah, yeah. I did record this bad boy. So we Gucci, y'all. Um, I appreciate everybody for tuning in. Right. Thank y'all for tuning in. Um, just make sure that your team is on the next one. Right. Make sure your team is on the next one. I'm definitely gonna let everybody know when I'm gonna do this again. Um, because we got to constantly retrain this over and over again, y'all, because even though we train it once, a person doesn't pick it up. Sometimes the light bulb goes off seven, 
seven calls down the road. Then all of a sudden they like, all right, let me just try it. Let me just try it out and see if it works. Because some people on this call right now still going to do it their own way. They still going to go do it their own way. And then all of a sudden you're going to try and that light bulb going to go off. And then all, you're going to be like, oh my God, the PS3 is so powerful. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Now it's just all about filling your pipeline with people to do the PS3 with. All right. Let's go. We appreciate you, King Cups. Man, powerful, bro. Real talk. All right, bro. All right, y'all. Thank y'all right. for tuning in. Um, thank y'all for staying to the end of the call as well. Um, go let your people know how you know uh this call actually helped you out, right? We're getting some six-figure training right here, y'all. This is the stuff that I learned to help me, right? And I teach this bad boy over and over and over and over again. It will help your team grow. Start launching our people, y'all. If you still left on this call, start launching your people that you uh, signed up. Phone, Sit down with your people and launch them straight up. And I'm about to go back and launch some of the people that I signed up already. Because, you know, when we first started with this opportunity, we was just putting people in, y'all. We ain't even going to lie. Like, we literally was just putting people in. We was going crazy first couple of weeks. Now, now you know, we, we, we tapping into the momentum, but we got to launch. We got to launch some of these people. You know, get people launched. And that means sit down with them on the phone or on a Zoom and get their goal written down. You know, get their people written down, show them how to invite, right? And then have them invite to the very same, uh, I mean, the very next call, which is happening that night. And if you do that with them, you got somebody that's still excited. The goal is to keep a person excited every single day. Keep walking them through the next step and the next step and the next step. All right, let's go. Appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. That's the end of the call. You may now disconnect. Thank you. Let's go. Thank Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you, you, bro. You're welcome. welcome. Thank you, guys, Sean. No, I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. You're awesome. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, King.